Ich ich What is up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about 10 things, 10 good things Black Ops 2 changed in Call of Duty history. So these are 10 things that Black Ops 2 did for the first time and then they continued some of these, I guess most of these things continued in other Call of Duty games and it made them better. So today I'm making this video to prove you guys that I'm not a blindless hater so I can say that today I'm redeeming myself from my last video even though my last video was just my opinion. So if you didn't watch my last video it was about the reasons why I hate Black Ops 2. So a lot of people you know often ask me to play black ops 2 whenever i go online on the playstation 3 so you know i just wanted to explain people why i don't like black ops 2 and on that video i said it was my least favorite call of the game but i was talking about the boots on the ground call of the games the real call of the games when it comes to real call of the games boots on the ground only black ops 2 is my least favorite then there's black ops 3 advanced warfare and infinite warfare those don't count as real call of the games to me because of the movement system them. So I want to talk about 10 things Black Ops 2 changed in Call of Duty history and as I said good things. The first thing on this list is Black Ops 2 gave us the first DLC gun. That's awesome, right? For the first time we were able to get a new gun and uh, that's pretty cool because, uh, you know, after a while you just get tired of using the same guns over and over again. So whenever we, we get new guns, it's always fun because we have to unlock new attachments, we have to start all over, the, all over again, we have to understand how the gun works and Black Ops 2 started that with the Peacekeeper. I think that's the gun I'm trying to, trying to use on this video because I'm just used to using the chicken that thing is a freaking beast so the next thing on this list thing number two black ops 2 changed in call of Duty history the creator class system so before black ops 2 we were stuck with the traditional called um create a class system with the three perks. Black Ops 2 changed that and with the pick 10 system we went from being able to only use three perks to being able to use uh, up to six perks if we wanted to. I mean if you don't want to play without perks, if you want to play without perks you can play without perks. If you just want three of them you can use three of them but if you want to you can use six perks and that is great. Then we have the score streaks. Thing number three ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm gonna to be honest here this is something I talked about on my previous video I don't like score streaks I think uh, in Black Ops 2 especially and also in Black Ops 3 they are way too high uh, way too difficult to get and that is boring now I'm not saying uh, it should be like in MW2 too easy I'm saying it should be in between like for example in Modern Warfare 3 the um, point streaks are my favorite um, you know kill streak system or point streak system whatever you want to call it but uh, yeah the score streaks um changed everything because um you know pretty much everything you do counts towards your kill streak if you destroy a bouncing baddie um a shock charge if you get shot if you're using a riot shield and people shoot at it every all the little score you get here and there is going to count towards your score streak and it's going to help you get your score streaks faster a lot of people like the score streaks as i said i don't but hey um it's something that black ops 2 changed and pretty much all call of duties now have the score streaks then we have ladies and gentlemen the half time in domination now this is something i don't like because in black ops 2 there's a time limit each half only lasts five minutes that sucks uh, luckily they changed that in black ops 3 and uh, the, the like the time limit disappeared i'm okay with the half time but the time limit was annoying so uh, the half time is pretty good because it gives you a chance to breathe right let's say you are getting hammered by sweaty nerds you cannot leave your spawn it's over you're getting bombarded with kill streaks well the half time is gonna save your life for a little bit you're gonna be able to restart all over again you're gonna be reborn and uh, i mean um as i said that's great when you're playing against sweaty nerds so the halftime is good pretty much for everyone that is get that is getting destroyed but i think that they created the halftime especially for the noobs so that they could have as i said a second chance Ooh, speaking of of second chance ladies and gentlemen the thing number five on this list that black ops 2 changed is 
Deathrix disappeared forever. So the last Call of Duty game to have Deathrix was Modern Warfare 3. Before Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, there was Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 1 still had second chance. In Black Ops 2, all the death streaks disappeared. They were disappeared. They were gone forever. And after uh, Black Ops 2, we never saw them again in a Call of Duty game. A lot of people were happy about this because everyone hates Second Chance. Everyone knows what happened in Modern Warfare 3. We thought there was not going to be Second Chance in the game. Even the guy from um, from Infinity War was like, "Yeah, there's not going to be Second Chance. F you, Second Chance." And then the game came out with Second Chance. So the even even the guy from Infinity War didn't know that Activision was planning on keeping second chance in the game. So that was funny. And then in Black Ops 2, it was gone forever. So this was the beginning of the end for Death Tricks that uh, noobs loved using. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, thing number six on this list, explosive spam in the beginning of the game. Another thing that Black Ops 2 changed forever before this, uh, people could spam noob tubes at the beginning of the game. As soon as the game started this is great especially when you play nuketown right you play nuketown in black ops 1 for example the game starts everyone starts throwing grenades right in black ops 2 you have to wait 10 seconds so obviously this was something that made explosive nerds very very upset in black ops 2 but it was a good change and then we have ladies and gentlemen thing number seven on this list camos on secondary guns uh, or secondary weapons and also special weapons this is also something that black ops 2 changed and it was great because for the first time i could use a camo on a riot shield and that's that's actually the last time we could put a camo on a riot shield uh, on a ballistic knife on the crossbow that was freaking awesome but also on pistol on pistols launchers all crazy secondary weapons in black ops 2 can have camos and uh, you could also put your uh, clan tag and emblem on them on them <laughs> I can't talk an emblem on them. I think that was a pretty good change And then we have ladies and gentlemen thing number eight on this list Black Ops 2 changed for the first time We had a three round burst SMG in Call of Duty my beloved Chickam. So as you guys know, if you watched my previous video, the Chickam is my favorite SMG. It's my favorite weapon overall in Black Ops 2 because it is a three-round burst SMG, which is very unique and uh, it's a beast overall. This thing eats people alive. It shreds them. It melts them. It hakai's them uh, like uh, Beerus from... Uh, <laughs> from Dragon Ball Super. If you don't watch Dragon Ball Super, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So yeah, even though most people consider the Chicken like one of the worst guns in Black Ops 2, which doesn't make any sense, I still freaking love it and uh, I mean, it's my favorite thing in the game. And then the thing number 9 on this list is actually something I don't care about, but, it, you know, at the same time, it kind of helped casual players, which is league play. So for the first time, um, nerds had the place of their own so that they could sweat and uh, try hard and drop shot and jump shot and use their con scuff controllers uh, while high on G Fuel and all that stuff. Pretty much league play kind of saved casual players because all the nerds were together on league play play playing against each other obviously noobs could also play on league play but uh, this was something pretty good pretty good because <laughs> it kind of stopped uh, pub stopping pub stomping for a little bit now obviously nerds got tired of playing against each other because no one wants to head glitch around every corner that's what they do and the drop shot so drop shot and jump shot so uh, a lot of them kind of quit league play and went back to pub but uh, you know it was pretty cool that Shrek had a place for um, all the nerds to, you know, gather and play against each other and sweat and sniff G fuel and do all that stuff. And finally, the last thing on this list, Black Ops 2 changed, was zombies. So, when it comes to zombies, man, I could make a video just about zombies on all the things they changed. But I'm just gonna say that, for example, they added the first big map, like Transit, which is pretty awesome. We got more perks. We got the double pack-a-punch. We got zombies, game modes like Grief and the other game mode which name ex escapes me or escapes me right now um, and there's a lot more stuff to add to zombies which I'm not gonna talk about but uh, yeah that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen so as you guys can see there's a lot of good stuff Black Ops 2 did I know the good stuff they did and that's what I wanted to talk about today on this video so I hope I made some of you happy today thank you for watching if I forget about something else let me know it in the comment section below I'll see you next time peace out